Welcome to my fireplace makeover. My name is Anisha and if this is your first time visiting my channel, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. So here is a look at what my fireplace looked like before. And to get started, the first thing I did was have my husband and son remove the old TV so that I could begin to prep the wall for painting. And here's a look at the wall with the TV removed. And yes, I did paint the wall once upon a time without moving the TV, don't judge. <laughs> um, so then I just got started on removing the old mount. We did purchase a new one and a new TV for this wall. So you'll see me install that a little later in the video. Once I was done with that, I got started removing the mantle as well as the mounting brace for the mantle. Now it's time to go in and patch this wall. So I'm just showing you here that I use the all-purpose joint compound for that. Once I was done patching all of the holes, I left that to dry and began to cut in with my paint. As you can see here, I went with a black paint. My overall idea for this wall was to just go with a modern um, look and so I wanted the black wall and also black tile. Um, I did change that slightly as you'll see later in the video, but I think I still accomplished that look. So you'll have to keep watching to see that. And before I could get too far into my painting, uh, my little supervisor came along to inspect everything and um, let me know she felt like I missed a few spots. <laughs> I let all of that sit for several hours and then I came back and sanded all the areas that I had patched. I cleaned everything up really well after that before going in to paint the tiles. To paint my tile, I just started out with a brush going around the sides of the tile and then in between the grout lines. I wanted to get a really good coat of paint in the grout area before going in with my roller to paint the surface.
after doing two coats of paint on my tile, I started to paint the wall the same color and I knew right away that this particular paint was not going to work as my wall color. It is a satin and the sheen just did not look good when it started to dry. So I headed back out to the store to get some new paint, lucked out and found a gallon of Oops paint for only $9.50 and it was a flat paint which is exactly what I needed for this wall and it wasn't black like I had originally planned but it was a very dark blue bluish kind of black color um, as you can see here it looks a little bit navy when it goes up on the wall and with this lighting but once it dried it was a very dark color just a little off of black which gave me a nice contrast but I still got the look that I was going for once I was done with that, I went ahead and reinstalled the bracket for the mantle and the mantle shelf, and then it was time to start working on the TV. I started out by hanging a paper template of my TV up on the wall. I got this centered and positioned exactly where the TV would eventually be going. Then I hung the template for the TV mount on top of that paper. I got that level and even and cut away the paper behind it so that I could mark my drill holes directly onto the wall. Next, I removed all of the parts from the box and I did a quick inventory check to make sure that I had all of the pieces. After locating the studs in the wall, I just took an extra 2x4 and just traced on either side of it. It helped me just to keep a visual reference of where I could drill since I had to put one hole on top of the other on both sides. After I had everything all marked up, all I had to do was go in and drill all of my holes. And once I had the mount securely attached to the wall, the only thing left to do was to have my husband and install the new TV. And that was it for this project, guys. I'm so excited with how it turned out. Even with a little change in the color, I still love it. And I'm really glad that I did this quick makeover. So here's a look at the before. And here's the after. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to share it with someone else. Give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe before leaving. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.